tastes like a shinning. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Dr. Sleep, the next movie directed by Mike Flanagan, who has proven himself to be one of the best horror film directors in the business right now, and especially when these films have child actors. The guy has proven himself through several movies that he can, one, direct great horror. He makes the films that just outshine these copy and paste garbage heaps that just keep coming out year after year, as well as he can get kid actors to pull off phenomenal performances. He did that with Haunting of the Hill House series, he did that with the Ouija movie, he's done that with several of his films, and he's done that again with this movie, Dr. Sleep. Now obviously this movie had a lot of writing on it, it was a sequel to one of the most coveted horror films of all time, as well as following Danny's story and just seeing where he is now, how he got there through his drug and alcohol battles and his own personal demons, and then also Abra, this other girl who has The Shining in a similar power sense. And on top of that, these two have to team up to fight against Rose the Hat and her group of people who are hunting down and killing the, sh the ki people who have The Shining to absorb their steam and basically kind of be immortal, sort of. There's a lot in this movie and it's why it's two hours and 30 minutes long and you definitely feel that you definitely feel that length especially in the first quarter i would say but it's a necessary length to establish all of these story elements to put in all of these aspects into the film king is not just only a horror writer he's also a character writer and flanagan is doing his best to cram in all of these elements while being true to the film as well as the original novel. I remember when I saw that this was happening and I thought, if there's one guy who could pull this off and not screw it up, it would definitely be Mike Flanagan. And he doesn't. He makes a very, very intriguing movie. He makes a very compelling thriller movie, I would almost say, as well as a character-based film. There are some horror elements, but they're very few and far between because this movie isn't really scary. It's just more so ooh, visually, engaging in terms of how the shining works he's able to pull you into these worlds of how these characters are able to find each other how they're able to use their powers and he does it in a way that really really interests you it takes time he does a lot of visual storytelling and most directors most studios would not agree to this but because it's flanagan because it's a king sequel it has to be done for you to be fully immersed into the story, fully immersed into these characters' lives. And while it does take time for stuff to happen, it helps put you in this world. And again, the kid actors in this, the girl who plays Abra is fantastic. Her and Ewan McGregor have great chemistry and I love their how the two of them work together. And I love also that she's kind of a badass in this movie. She's able to handle her own because she's so powerful. And I loved her conflicts, her confrontations with Rose the Hat several times in the movie. I actually think that there's some elements in this movie that are disturbing, but they're disturbing for different reasons. For instance, they find a kid and how they get the steam out of him is probably the most horrifying element of the entire movie. And I applaud the filmmakers for keeping this scene in. I believe this movie had an R rating and I can guarantee you it's for this scene. It is for this scene in particular. I do like that Flanagan kept it in, he kept to it, and he doesn't really pull any punches with it. it. He shows enough to establish what we're getting. And I think that's what this movie does. It establishes what it's getting, it does what it wants to do, and it does it in a means that res that's respectful as well as engaging. It just takes a bit of a minute for that punch to hit you because of how the movie is paced. I was comparing it to Blade Runner 2049 because this movie and that film both have very similar, very long run times. They both follow each other in a similar manner in terms of their going for visual storytelling as well as normal narrative storytelling. But I think that Doctor Sleep just doesn't have as much of a pull. It's definitely not a movie you're going to want to rewatch over and over again, even if you are a big Shining fan, because it just doesn't have that constant uh, terror that The Shining does. It doesn't have that uh, sort of nostalgia and complete what the hell is going on Kubrick factor to it. This movie is a lot more of a focused narrative. It doesn't have a lot of what the hell's going on. Everything is kind of in a 
focused narrative, which is a great thing. And admittedly, I would prefer to watch that over The Shining because I'll come clean here. I've actually never seen The Shining. I've seen it in parts. I have almost seen the whole movie in parts. That weird clown blowjob though. I've more so seen the Simpsons version many a time, so that's my only experience. So that's probably going to completely delegitimize de my entire thoughts on this entire film and the original, of course. I, I did enjoy it. I'll definitely say that. I did enjoy this movie. It's just not one of Flanagan's more rewatchable ones. Is it one of his better ones? I would definitely say so. In the end, I'm going to give Dr. Sleep a 5 out of 7. It's a very cool movie. I did enjoy it. I would definitely suggest anyone who is a big fan of The Shining to watch it, and it made me want to read the books now. More so, I'm probably going to listen to them on an audiobook. Either way, it got me interested. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.